What's up guys? My name is Sarah and welcome to our channel. This is a Soul Unlimited where we teach all things scuba diving. Today I'm here to talk to you about the most useful scuba accessories for the regular recreational diver. Throughout our career we've seen a lot of divers get really excited about equipment and they just go out and they buy tons of stuff because they're just excited for new toys. Although new toys are fun, we all know that scuba diving is not cheap, so let's Let's save you a little bit of money. Okay, rule number one, less is more. There's a joke in the scuba industry that somebody who shows up with all new equipment, every, every little toy clipped onto their BCD, they're usually not the best of divers. New stuff will not improve your skills, so instead of investing tons and tons of money on fancy gear, use that money to go diving and practice. Use that experience to really see what you actually need as a scuba diver. As far as investment, it's really a good idea to spend a little bit more money and get high quality name brand gear because that equipment is going to last you for a very long time as long as you take care of it. This absolutely does not mean that you need to buy the most expensive thing out there. Okay, just something that is well known, that people have experience with, that they recommend. Ask around and see if you can try things out from your friends. You can also decide to save some money by buying used. That's not necessarily a bad thing. You just want to make sure that you know the history of the item so that you know kind of what sort of time frame you can count on it for. One of the first accessories that I always recommend people buy is a computer. The reason why this is so useful is because it really helps you to be a safer and more conservative diver. By having a computer, you're going to be able to record the depth, the exact amount of time you spent at each depth, and so you're not just relying on your own buoyancy to stay at the same level as your guide. Okay, we always recommend that you have your own computer. Every single diver should have their own computer, and that's just for safety reasons. Make sure that you know how to use it. I can't tell you how many times we take people diving and they hand me their computer and say I don't know what this means can you tell me and I usually look at them and say go get your manual okay so if you buy a computer make sure you download the manual you go through it you understand what the symbols are on your computer that's gonna really help you out underwater a lot of the computers are very similar but they still have their own nuances so having the manual and really reading through it. It's one of those few things that you really do want to read the manual. <laughs> My advice personally is to go for a simple computer. It might be tempting to go for something that's really fancy, that maybe is much smaller, right? Those are usually a little bit more expensive. Something like this or the Sunto Zoop are really, really useful. I'll leave a link in the description below to a handful of computers that I recommend. Again, this is a great opportunity for you to ask your friends, see what people like, um, test out a couple and just really make a smart decision about your computer. Next item on the list is a compass. A compass is very, very useful if you happen to decide that you want to go diving with a buddy on your own. If you are just looking to do tropical water diving, always with a guide, then maybe you don't need to invest because you're always going to have somebody with you who's going to be able to guide you around the dive sites. If you are in a place where you can go diving on your own, this is an essential tool. This will allow you to get to the dive sites and more importantly, get back to your starting point at the end of the dive. Next item on the list is a SMB. SMB stands for surface marker buoy. This could also be DSMB, delayed surface marker buoy. And this basically is used so that you can let boats know that you're on the surface. Okay, this is really, really important for your safety. We all know that the surface is the most dangerous place for scuba divers to be just because boats are driving around and if you're not visible, there is a possibility of an accident. Therefore, it's very, very good that you have your own SMB, that it's a bright color, something that is big that sticks out of the water. 
you can see that I also have a reel here and this helps to allow you to send the SMB up from underwater, which is the safest place to do that so that boats really see when you're doing your safety stop, they see your surface marker buoy at the surface. This is also really good for when you surface and you're a little bit far away from the boat. When it's fully inflated, you can signal to the boat. There are a few different styles of SMBs. So this one right here is just an open flap at the end. So you can either exhale into it or use your secondary regulator to inflate it. There are also ones that have uh, mouthpieces that you can orally inflate. It doesn't matter what kind you get. I do recommend though, if you are gonna be diving a lot in places with waves or with strong currents, that you get a very big SMB, just so that it's very visible from far away. Now for everyone's favorite thing underwater, the noisemaker. <laughs> We joke about it that people make way too much noise underwater, but really having something to make noise with while you're diving is very, very important. Just to be able to share in the memories of something comes towards you very quickly and it's gonna leave very quickly, you can get people's attention fast. However, this does not mean that it gives you free reign to just go clicking away on your tank all the time, okay? We go underwater to enjoy peace and quiet, so please show some restraint. <laughs> we personally really like the pointer, okay? This is a great tool because it allows us to show to our divers kind of the smaller things on the reef. It can also be used in a pinch for a hook, right? In sand or, you know, on a rock, never, ever, ever on coral. It's a really great multi-use tool. There are specifically designed rattlers, and I personally do not ever recommend those to anyone just because they are very, very noisy. Yes, they get people's attention super quick, but it's a little bit, I mean, it's in the name, it's a little bit rattling, okay? It really takes you out of the moment while you're diving. If you are on a dive and you do not have a pointer, remember you do have other tools for making noise. So if you have a reel, an SMB, you probably have a clip. Okay, a clip is really great. You can tank bang with that. Next up, another useful tool is a cutting device. This is just a small knife that you can take on your BCD. It allows you to remove any fishing line that you find on the reef, any kind of trash. In certain parts of the world, you can find dive knives that are like double this size, okay? We don't necessarily need to go out into the ocean with machetes, but it is useful to have something sharp to help you with those fishing nets, fishing lines, anything that you find. And you can always just get a very small cutter. It's a, they, they make them called line cutters. They're really, really useful. Finally, the last tool that we have on the list is a dive torch. You don't need to have poor visibility or limited light in order to see the benefits of using a dive torch on fun dives. A lot of the times creatures like to huddle into the back of the reef and if you have a torch, especially if you have like a low light torch, it's a really great way to check them out, show them to the other divers and really see things that you wouldn't see normally. The reason why you want to have a low light torch is a lot nicer for the animals that you're looking at. They're not being tortured by the bright lights. Make sure that your torch runs off of rechargeable batteries, okay, non-corrosive metals because that will help in the waste creation, right? We can just recharge, 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 and have a really long life with that set of batteries. All right, I hope that this list was helpful. I hope that you are getting excited for your next time out in the ocean. And you know, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel because we're uploading more and more videos all the time, and let us know what you wanna learn from us in the comments below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time. Thank you.